I asked you guys what you wanted to see in a solar system. So today we're gonna to be creating a custom solar system purely from your guys' suggestions. So every single planet, moon, and even the star in the center came from suggestions you guys left on my community post. And we're starting the system off by make the sun rotating a black hole. Okay, so basically we're gonna do a sun and black hole binary system to start this off. Let's pick a good background actually. Purple, I like purple. Okay, here's gonna be our starting background. So let's start with the black hole. Okay, we're just gonna put a black hole that has the same mass as our sun. We're gonna put that in here and then we need a star. I'm just gonna use the sun because they're the same mass so the binary relationship will be good. But you can see how much bigger the sun is than a black hole even though they have the exact same mass. We're gonna go binary, balance motion on and this will put them in a binary orbit. We should be able to highlight both of them now and then create a Barra center. And this is the center point of our system now. So they're both orbiting around this point. Let's make sure the binary system looks good. Look at that, perfect circle. That means that they are exactly the same in mass. Okay, let's go to the next suggestion. Okay, so for our first planet, we're going to collide all of the planets in the solar system into one and then try to terraform it and we'll give it a bunch of moons too. So what I'm gonna do is actually go to a new system and we're gonna save this one and come back to it. So we're gonna collide every single planet now and then try to terraform it. So let's just start with Mercury here and then we'll put Venus next to it. And you can see that Mercury is gonna get sucked up by Venus. Oh, okay, there we go. And then put, we'll put Earth next to that. They collide. Okay, so it looks like it's called Earth because Earth was the biggest object so far. So it'll still be called Earth, but once we collide some of these bigger gas giants, it definitely won't be. Come on, Mars, don't go in orbit. Okay, let's, get, let's give Mars a little bit of help. There you go. Okay, and then once we add Jupiter, this is gonna suck up everything. Maybe we should do Jupiter last. Let's go, let's go Pluto. And then, I don't know, Uranus will suck up everything. There goes Earth into Uranus. Uh, Neptune, collide. Okay, Neptune's eating everything. And then we'll go Saturn. And then Jupiter is going to still, after combining everything else, consume everything. Okay, so now this is the combined planet. So let's name it. Let's wait for it to get its mass back because it's kind of absorbing a lot of this. Okay, so we're going to name it every planet combined. Okay, now I'm going to save this object. Okay, so here we are back in the system. So now that we have combined every planet, I'm gonna turn on the habitable view. So this is gonna show us the areas where habitable planets can exist. So we wanna put our planet in this green area. Okay, so here's every planet combined. We're gonna put it about one AU away. You'll see that it's actually in the blue, but once we go out of that, it'll be in the green. It's because it tries to go off the parameters of the planet, but we're gonna change a lot of them. So we're still gonna put it here in the green. Okay, now to make this habitable, uh, we're gonna have to make a lot of changes. It's basically Jupiter. So we're basically terraforming Jupiter. Um, let's pause time while we do this. Our average temperature, we're gonna want this a lot lower, like maybe 15 Celsius. And then we're gonna need to change a lot of the composition. Uh, I mean, this is kind of cheating. <laughs> we're just gonna adjust all the settings to kind of be habitable. So this is the new update. So we have a lot more materials to work with. Let's start by just removing all the gas and that'll help us get a rocky planet instead of a gas giant. So I'm removing all of the gas from the planet right now and just gonna leave the solid stuff. Mainly hydrogen is where that's all gonna be. And helium it looks like, okay. So I think all of the gas is gone. So if I click play, I think it'll turn into a rocky planet. Yes, okay, perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so now we have a rocky planet. This is gonna be a lot easier to terraform. So now we just have to add back the certain gases we want to have a atmosphere. And we should be able to go and use atmosphere presets. Where are those at? Here we go, atmosphere preset. We're gonna go earth and we're gonna go mass and composition and apply that and that should put some gas on it. How big is our planet? Oh, whoa, okay, so it is actually way bigger than Earth. Um, that's why it doesn't really look like it has an atmosphere. If we put it next to, oh yeah, Earth radius. It's four, over four times bigger, and it's like insanely more massive. 300 times as massive as Earth. So we're gonna need um, just composition, apply that, and then we're gonna have to turn all this stuff up. So here's what I'm thinking. I think if I go to atmosphere mass and set it like four times Earth, because we're like four times as big, and then set the preset to just composition, 
Okay, the atmosphere is super thick. What's our... Okay, our life likelihood isn't zero, so we are getting a little bit of terraforming done. We're going to need some water for sure. Uh, put some more on there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw some water on it. I think it's too cold. What's the temperature? 20? What if we melt? Melt all? And that makes it black. Interesting. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. What's our life likelihood at? Oh, no, it's so low and it's dropping. Why is terraforming so hard in the new update? Here we go. Here we go. That's starting to look a lot better, actually. Whoa, we have a very big magnetosphere. Okay, that is every planet combined. And technically, there is a chance of life. Not very high, but life could exist on this planet. So we're going to go to the next one. Okay, our next one says make a planet look dead, but it's 100% livable. Okay, I don't know about 100%. To make this easier, we're going to start with Earth. And I'm going to put it, we'll put it like right here. Because Earth has a very good chance of life. If you didn't know that so basically we need to make earth look like you couldn't live on it but it has as you know a very high chance of life it is at 98.6 which is funny because it's not 100 so let's make it look not livable L look dead that's what we're going for the dead look so i think in dark colors a black atmosphere uh we could remove the clouds altogether make the snow look like brown or darker for the liquid let's do like brown can we do brown? That doesn't look, that looks black. City lights off, definitely not. And remove the vegetation too. And we can change these colors too. Okay, I'm gonna make it look like that. And I'm gonna change the shape of some of these continents. Elevation remove. And I'm going to remove a few continents and make my own. Goodbye Africa. No more Africa. You can still see the city lights. They still show up even though Africa is completely gone. Okay. this does look pretty dead um okay now i need to create my own continent okay this is so cursed there it is the custom continent i don't even know what that's supposed to be but that planet definitely looks dead and it is definitely not let's see chance of life. okay i did decrease it probably by erasing africa but we're still at 90.4 percent i will definitely take that okay this is an interesting one make a gas giant in the habitable zone made of 20 to 30 percent oxygen and 70 80 percent nitrogen basically a gas giant that we could breathe. So we're creating a gas giant where the gases on the gas giant are breathable to us. It's gonna be cool. And we're also gonna make two moons, a lava moon and a habitable moon with some rings too. Okay, let's do it. Our habitable zone's getting crowded here, but let's do random gas giant. Uh, let's just look at where it's gonna say, we'll put it more in. All right, so if this is gonna be breathable, I wanna kind of make it look like Oh, look, those layers are cool. Make it look like it's breathable. You know, like those blue colors, like the color of the sky almost. Something like that. Because now I want to go here and breathe this air. I feel like the air would be really good to breathe. I mean, not yet. We got to change some of this. <laughs> okay. So uh, we want surface, I think, is where we want to do it. Okay. It looks like it's m made of water mostly. Interesting. Okay, we need 20 to 30% oxygen. Okay, so here's the atmosphere and then it has an ocean. Oh, okay, this is actually helpful. We can go layer by layer. So we just want our atmosphere to be 30% oxygen. So we'll go like one Earth's mass. Okay, we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna go melt all or vaporize all. So everything, yeah, okay. Everything should be in the air now. So we have already have five Earth's mass of oxygen so if that's 20 to 30 percent then for our 70 to 80 we need like i don't know 15 of nitrogen where's nitrogen okay uh we probably don't want any ammonia or methane or helium or hydrogen we'll keep the water we can get rid of the silicate okay so we have five earth's masses of oxygen and 15 earth's masses of nitrogen so this air is breathable probably to us, so if you were on this, you could breathe. Very cool, now we need to add a lava moon and a habitable moon. So I'm just gonna start by adding two small moons like this. Whoa, okay, this this actually really cool background. I like the bottom and the top, it's like very colorful. Anyway, okay, this one's gonna be our lava one. So the easiest way is just gonna be to turn this thing up. Set it to, I don't know, 500, a little more, maybe 800. There we go. Okay, that's looking like lava. And to keep it that hot, I'm going to put an atmosphere on it. 
we're gonna put it like Venus atmosphere. Is that not an option? I don't know, five Earths on this tiny moon? It's weird the way I have to like add the atmosphere separately. I mean, methane's a good greenhouse gas. We'll add some of that. Just cover it in methane. That should help keep the temperature. Especially if we add a lot of atmosphere layers, like a hundred. Guarantee you that will keep the heat in. So there's our lava planet. And then for this one, we want it to be habitable. So, okay. It looks like it probably has an atmosphere on it already. So if I just switch this to earth stats and pressure and composition. Oh, whoa. Okay. Look, our lava planet's spewing out lava everywhere. That's how hot it is. But that does give it a chance of life and we'll take it because it's really hard to get life on moons like this. So there we go. A habitable moon and a lava moon surrounding our breathable gas giant. You could breathe on this gas giant. Is it still a gas giant? Did we make it not a gas giant? It doesn't say it is anymore. Maybe you need hydrogen. We're gonna keep it because it's still pretty much just made of gas. So I don't know what else you would call it. Okay, now we're gonna try to create a binary moon. Basically, we're gonna have a really, really big gas giant and then try to have two small moons orbiting around each other as well as going around the gas giant. The best chance of having it work is gonna be to have a extremely big gas giant. So we're gonna put a gas giant out here and like, bigger than Jupiter. Let's go like three or four Jupiters. Four Jupiters, is that big enough to, it's not gonna like turn into heat up, right? Okay, it's not heating up, perfect. Okay, we have a four, a gas giant four times the mass of Jupiter. So it is extremely big. And we're just gonna use small moons because those usually are gonna work better for something like this. I'm gonna put one here and then binary. Okay, I gotta get really close to this one actually. Okay, I think the best way to do this actually is gonna be to have a bigger moon and then a smaller moon going around it. Cause if they're the same size, I don't know how well it's gonna work. Something like that, does that work? Yeah, but would you count that as binary? I would say yeah, cause the orbit is being affected. You can see it's growing and shrinking, which means that they are pulling on each other. Well, it could be because the gas giant's gravity is pulling. I'm pretty sure they are at least a little bit binary. Can I go on trails and see at all? It's hard to tell. Maybe if I increase the mass on this one a little bit, but I don't wanna knock everything out of orbit. Let's make it 10 times as big and see what that does. Okay, that's definitely binary, look at them. No way that this isn't pulling on this at all. Look at the size difference. So we're gonna count that as binary, even though it's not like an equal binary, relationship like our black hole and star at the center of this. Whoa, our orbits look so weird because we have a binary system. Anyway, let's go to our last planet. Okay, so actually for our last suggestion, we're just gonna be throwing a planet through the solar system to see what happens. So before I do that, I'm gonna save this. And if you guys, if you guys would like to download the system, I'll put the link in the description uh, because I'm worried that this might destroy the system. Let's go for the largest planet possible that's not gonna turn into like a star and throw it through. Let's go like right here maybe. Let's like aim it so it goes there. We don't need the habitable view. And let's adjust this planet so that it is as big as we can possibly get it to be. So let's try maybe 10 Jupiters. If it starts like heating up, it's kind of like becoming a brown dwarf. So we don't want that. Okay, I think that will work. Let's go with that. Throw it through the system now. Okay, here it comes. And we'll see what happens to all the planets. Goes through, okay, it curves around. Oh, whoa, and it got launched back the direction it came. That's crazy, actually. I did not think that. I thought maybe it would get launched in a different direction. Does that have any effect? It looks like it might have skewed the orbits a tiny bit, but not really. Wow, okay, but watch this. I'm gonna throw a black, a black hole and that will definitely affect everything. 100 solar masses, go. Okay, here comes a black hole with 100 times the mass of the sun. And <laughs> you can see it just pulls everything towards it. And whoa, okay, the black hole is curving weird. Oh, I did throw two, I threw two. Okay, this is crazy. Everything gets scattered. That is definitely the end of our system. But before I destroyed it, you can download it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Put down in the comments what you wanna see in the next system. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next video.